so myself and Camille, I have a travel buddy. Yay! You'll remember Camille from, um, we went to, we have a vlog where we went to Laudere, don't we? Laudere. Yeah, um, so you'll remember Camille, but we've just arrived in Budapest and we are in the cutest hotel. It is adorable. Um, now, <laughs> we have a double bed, but we're both like four foot 11, so it's grand, like. Um, I'll show you it around. It's really like kind of, Cottage chic, would you say? Yeah, it's I adorable. Um, I'll show you around, it's so cute. I love the like how fab is all the old like furniture and stuff. I just think it's so cute. And the bathroom, the bathroom is my favorite, and the butterfly, and then the big butterfly on the wall. Like, this is just so cute. So um, it's kind of raining, um, but it's not too bad. We are going to get a tuk-tuk tour at four o'clock. Um, we were on the first flight out over here, so I'm absolutely starving. So I think we're going to get some food in our um, hotel. It's like a B&B, &B. um, and they got, you get like welcome champagne. champagne. So we're going to get a welcome champagne and get some food. Um, we're staying the Buddha side of Budapest, which is like more picturesque, residential. Pest is where the party is at. Um, oh. So yes, we will we're commute to Pest, yeah. <laughs> but we're staying on the Buddha side. So um, next thing we're going to do is the tuk-tuk, which you get to see everything on the tuk-tuk. Um, so I'll bring it along for the tuk-tuk. So me and Camille finished our tuk-tuk adventure and now we are on a boat. Um, the boat was included 
in our like tuk tuk price. The tuk tuk was like a really good tour to kind of like get our bearings off the place. Oh, I'm actually afraid I'm gonna drop my camera into the into the river. Yeah, it was really good to find the bearings of the place. Um, we got to see everything: Kess side, Buddha side, room bars. Um, all of the kind of like landmarks and stuff so it was really really good so I do recommend that and um, it was like open top and because I don't really like bus tours um, you're like in the bush you don't get to see everything but we got to see a lot I highly recommend that and we're on the boat now so we're hoping that like it'll be sunset so we'll get to see the parliament building starting to like light up <laughs> got blankets because I mean it was warm today but it's cold now on the boat and we didn't bring jackets so I literally robed up the boat <laughs> <laughs> Our boat tour it was so much fun and so um, we got on the half six one so we got to see like daytime and then nighttime and it is so pretty at night time I'm, I'm gonna show you the lights yeah. in front of us we're gonna go find some food now I don't know if you can hear me it's a bit loud so we're gonna go find some food maybe a sneaky ruin bar maybe, maybe. Sneaky points. Oh, go this way for the thing to get over there. Um, oh, there's t traffic lights. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna find find food. Good morning, it is day two and it's just so pretty. <laughs> we just had a giddy breakfast. They gave us um, wine with our breakfast. Yeah, and it's like, and I like it's that it's acceptable for to have wine with your breakfast. So day two, we're gonna go on a walk. There's this amazing cafe we wanna walk to. Um, Vintage Garden, I think it's called. It's really pretty. It's really like Instagram, Instagrammable. Um, so we're gonna walk to that and then we're gonna go to the thermal baths I think this afternoon. So that's the kind of agenda for today and hopefully we'll find some pretty places whilst we're on our little travels. Doing the tuk tuk yesterday means we kind of have like a, like a, we kind of know-ish yeah. where we're going and Google Maps works and we have to say that the people here are really really friendly and um, like everyone kind of like talks to us if we're in like cafes or the bar last night and um, we were chatting to everyone in the bar. Irish people there, yeah we found too. some Irish people as well like who live here um, so yeah all good so roll on day two. <laughs>
hello so we are about to go to the bath so we had a ramble this morning we went to the cutest cafe my battery pack cut out on me um, but I think I got some footage on my phone um, so cute, it's called the Vintage Garden, highly recommend it. I just got an Irish coffee because we were just after having breakfast. Tasty though. Um, loads of people were getting food and it looked really good. Um, so I have my togs on. <laughs> I haven't had my togs on in a long time. So we're going to head to the, I won't even try to pronounce it, Shechinzy Bots. Um, our hotel is really good because you can buy tickets here. So we can skip the queue. Um, so we're gonna head to the bath. It's sunny outside. Um, and then I'll show you around there and see. We're still gonna spend like the afternoon there. Um, because we've done a lot of walking this morning. So can't wait. So yeah, nervous about putting the gel swimsuit on. I had a few points last night, so feeling a bit bloated. <laughs> after the baths. So we're back in Buda and we're gonna get some dinner. It's such a lovely evening. The baths have put me asleep. I've got me like wet togs in my backpack <laughs> and frizzy hair. So we're gonna go to the baths now. No, no, we're gonna go get food. <laughs> you are. I'm yeah. sleeping. <laughs> We have two very fragile heads this morning. <laughs> I tasted the local um, Budapest beer last night. The local, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Um, the beer is really cheap, it was like €1.70 for a pint. And um, I abused that €1.70. Um, so we have to pack up now, it's our last morning, but we still have a full day of exploring. I want to go and row boats. <laughs> um, there is a park and in the summer time you can row boats and in the winter time it's an ice rink. So um, first I want to go on that tram that goes up the wall. Me and Camille saw some cute cherry blossom trees as well. And typical bloggers, we want to take photos with the cherry blossoms. Um, so I want to see the beautiful little cherry blossom trees and go on the tram and row my bow and then I'm happy <laughs> and then just kind of see we're going to walk to Pest and it's like a three kilometre walk to the boats but we're just going to see what we stumble across because I think when you're walking around is when you see everything and I had a few people saying oh I love your pretty photos on Instagram do you plan like out or whatever and honestly it's just walking around you just find all of the pretty stuff and um, so that is the plan for today and um, it's really sunny today it's been warm while we're here but today is really sunny um, so I'm gonna take in the scenery and get my vitamin D from the sunshine <laughs> just in the supermarket they have cherry coke so hard to get in Ireland cherry coke it's in deals babes <laughs> no but it's always gone in I know, deals it's always gone. I'm gonna get me more cherry coke
are finally on our boat. <laughs> Rowan. <laughs> it's actually so this lake. <laughs> this lake is um, an ice rink in winter time. So it's a huge, big man-made man lake. And yeah, in winter time, it is an ice rink, um, which I'd love to see it in winter time as well. Summertime, you can rent it up at Luz, and we got the boat, but it's like one of them that you have oars. We haven't really rowed far, <laughs> far enough to take a cute picture though. Um, so yeah, it's really chill. And it was only like, was it five euro for a boat? Five euro for the boat for half an hour, so that's really good. Um, but we forgot to check what time we got on the boat. So I'd say the guy will like whistle at us in a minute saying, get in with your boat. Yeah, so it's really chill. Clubbers, but we got to row our boats, which I'm really excited about. Now, I get to go on the tram again because we're staying on the Buddha side and we're walking across the bridge, but we don't want to climb all the steps, so we're going to get the tram up again, which means I get to go on the tram one last time. and ready to go home. Um, we had so much fun. Highly recommend Budapest. It's kind of like underrated. Um, it feels like Paris. It's definitely, I can see why they call it the Paris of the East. Um, but we were saying earlier today, there was parts of it that kind of felt like New York. Like when we were like on the boats on the lake, it felt very like Central Park. Um, so I hope you liked my vlog. Um, I will have a blog post and I'll post kind of like pictures because I loved, it was like Instagram gold taking pictures here. It was so lovely. Um, hope you can hear me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you all in next week's video.